dishes in the Karoo here and antenna in the outback in Western Australia. To discuss, we're joined by astrophysicist Professor Leratodi Liu. Professor, great to have you with us as always. We already have something uh, in, in the Karoo. Explain what is there and how it now all gets much bigger. So the three big milestones in the square kilometer array um, have been uh, the site selection um, for this major telescope, the design of it, um, and then formation of the governing structure, which uh, indeed um, has now given the green light for uh, this telescope to go ahead. The first um, milestone was achieved with South Africa being selected, one of the two sites where the telescope would be uh, constructed and we all celebrated this in South Africa. The design has been going um, and uh, that has now been rectified. Part of the design was building a pr the prototype of this uh, telescope and including lessons from this uh, prototype uh, to the final telescopes and, uh, and indeed incorporating um, the, the prototype into the telescope. So currently we have uh, 64 dishes um, of which we call the meerkat array and they are active and, observe, uh, and making observations in the Karoo now. This decision is to build an additional um, 133 dishes. So uh, double the amount that's currently there. And um, so this is an extension of, um, you know, what is on site and in uh, an extension, um, uh, what's on site is the uh, South African contribution to this. And um, what we are going now on to is the rest of the international community coming on board and uh, building this intergovernmental uh, telescope. Yeah. So, so when do you expect uh, that we'll have the, the biggest ever telescope uh, completed? The current telescope on site is um, already one of the best in the world uh, radio telescopes it is um, with just amazing sensitivity. So um, we are uh, already, uh, you know, at the frontier of the biggest ever. We are just increasing this. Yeah. Um, what's gone ahead is um, construction activity for the official um, uh, square kilometer array. And that will mean um, putting out... Um, uh, tenders for uh, con you know uh, for the construction so different construction companies coming abroad uh, uh, I mean coming on board uh, for this the construction phase is um, 2021 to 2029 so um, that full array that's now been approved will be uh, 2029 2030. Okay. All right, so then our dishes work with the antenna in Western Australia. There's this incredible cooperation, all looking up uh, and, and trying to find faint radio signals in, in space. So, so you spoke about that sensitivity. Uh, what are we hoping to find out there? Um, the, this is um, chasing fundamental uh, signs and um, fundamental science in this case in, um, in the area of astrophysics. The uh, big questions we'll be trying to answer is, how did uh, galaxies uh, form and evolve in the universe? Um, so this is a galaxy similar to our own uh, Milky Way galaxies. Um, so the progenitors or the children of um, Milky Way uh, galaxies, how they formed. We know that our own Milky Way has uh, stars. Um, so it will also be tackling how stars have formed. And of course, um, what the closest star to us is uh, our sun. So um, um, this will also tackle how um, things like the sun formed. Um, as well as uh, the, those questions of how galaxies formed, we we'll look at molecules uh, in a space, including molecules that contain amino acid, and that means molecules that contain um, building blocks of life. 
And this will therefore allow the opportunity to then uh, answer this question of whether um, life may be obituous around other stars, for example, this uh, the sensitivity will be allowing um, for molecules to be explored deep into the universe uh, like that. We'll also be also we'll also be able to answer this question about extraterrestrial intelligence in the sense of if they are com trying to communicate uh, to us or indeed just talking to each other, um, we'll be able to um, detect s uh, radio signals um, from them. Um, so. Uh, Lots of amazing questions uh, that uh, this telescope will tackle. All right, so looking for signs of life and, and reasons uh, about how we all got here. Thank you so much for that explanation, astrophysicist Professor Liratori Liu.